to particle editing. In this video, you'll be introduced to the particle edit option. Learn how to edit the particles, style the hairs to make them flow in a more natural manner, and learn how to reset the hairs back to their default state. So let's hop straight on over into Blender. Okay, so we have our fluffy bunny in front of us here with the um, new materials applied, but we want to style this hair because at the moment it's just sticking straight out of the mesh underneath, pretty much straight upwards like it was a, a series of normals coming out of our mesh. So we need to style this and make it flow in the way that it would flow naturally with an animal. So with the object selected, in this case the rabbit that the particle system is attached to, under where it says object mode here, we can change the interaction to particle edit and it's got a picture of a cone. And if we click that, the screen changes ever so slightly and we get to this in front of us. Now, I'm going to quickly on the properties window over here, just click on the particle over here and we will see the moment, well, at the moment it's greyed out, but the moment that we actually do something, we can, in particle edit, we cannot actually change anything that's over here anymore. So we can't add more hairs, we can't change the hair length, etc. The moment we start doing things. So at the moment, if I hop back into object mode, I can add more hairs, I can remove hairs, I can do lots of things still. However, the moment we go to particle edit, it changes to this. And we can see we've got a couple of options over on the tool shelf here. We have a series of brush types, similar to how we've had them before um, with the um, sculpting that we did earlier. Now, just like before, if I, uh, there's no brush selected at the moment, but if I click on comb, it has a radius and a strength, just like it did before. And you can use the same keys, the F key, to make the brush bigger and smaller and you can use the shift and F key to change the strength of that brush. Right, and there are a series of options down here. Now when I click wait, it will crash my system. So that's important to know, um, your system may crash if you click on wait. So don't click on it if you're in the middle of something important. And it's to, I believe it's to do with the number of particles that are currently on the scene itself. Um, if I reduce the number of particles, it doesn't seem to happen. But then, of course, I don't have um, a fluffy bunny. I've got a very bold bunny. So, comb does exactly what it sounds like it's going to do. So, I'm going to reduce the radius again. And if I just left click and drag across our model, then we can see there that I can start combing my model. Now, the limit selection to visible toggle does work with this so I've actually brushed the hair on the other side as well but from this perspective so it's not quite how I'd want it to be of course you can brush that down like this like it would be on a real rabbit and you can spend a lot of time brushing your virtual rabbit or grooming your virtual rabbit to make it look um, better and then of course I'm just going to uh, I don't know give it a mohawk in the middle just there. There are loads of different options here. So we've got smooth, which will smooth out the differences as you go through. Add, now that adds hairs. And that's one of the reasons why now we can't add, uh, edit over here. Uh, we can change the length so we can grow and shrink. It's very, very powerful. But we're gonna use a different method of determining length, but you can certainly make some minor alterations here if you want. Puff will puff it out and cut will remove. Now a note about cut, and I'll do it now for you just to show you, it cuts hairs, but it cuts hairs completely off. Now, once you've cut them off, unfortunately there's no way of adding them back to where they were before, you'd have to add them back with the add brush, which you can see straight away is gonna take a lot longer to do than removing them. So use the cut with caution. <laughs> That's why I'd say. And I'm not gonna click on wait, as I've said before, it crashes Blender. So I'm gonna avoid clicking on that. It'll be interesting to know and do post in the discussions if it also crashes on your system, whether it's a little bug that I have or whether it's a general one. Okay, and obviously, and looking at the brush types, um, with comb, there's no difference. I'm just gonna undo several times to see if I can get back to a hairy bunny. There we go. 
With certain brush types like uh, length, for instance, we can grow and shrink. So if you were thinking about removing some hairs, perhaps you'd want to shrink them back and create more of a stubble, I suppose, than actually cutting them off. But that will depend on your application. And we're going to use slightly different methods for controlling our uh, hair growth over our body as well. So we've got a bit more control than this arbitrary cutting back, etc. And if we look down, there's something very interesting here, the deflect emitter. So again, I'm just going to undo my length changes that I have there. And now the deflect amount here, the distance, changes. So I'm going to set it back to comb up here. It changes the skin of our rabbit, the actual underlying mesh, deflects. So if I set that to zero, there's a good chance that at some point I will push a hair into the model. Um, and essentially create an ingrowing hair. Um, but of course, when that happens, if we quickly switch to rendered mode, I'm going to select this area here to render. And if I hop into rendered mode here, oh, and that's another thing to tell you, when you're in particle edit, the render mode won't show anything. You have to hop, hop back out of that. And we see that with, oh, that will probably do there if I zoom in, it changes it. It's got bold patches there when we brushed it. If we go back into particle edit and increase this amount to well, 1.8, which is lots. Now when we brush over our model and we hop back on over into object mode, we can see that the hairs are much better. And you will have to keep going backwards and forwards. So I'm just going to draw a bigger... Uh, render border here because that's a bit small there we go and remember this isn't the final render amount that is determined down here with the display number so if I increase that to maybe 25 we'll get a better impression of the thickness and we can see it's being combed over there and if we hop back on over into particle edit and we can't see it when it's like that, so we need to hop into uh, solid mode as well. And we can comb about here, we can puff the hair out. We can even add length to it if we want, but we'll be doing a different method of controlling the length later on. However, for minor changes at the moment, this would be a great way of making those little tweaks. And of course, when we hop back into rendered mode and into object, it'll take a few seconds to do, and as you can see there, I've actually made the hair quite long and bristly. So, oh, I don't know what that's actually going to look like. Quite strange, I should imagine. Yes, very quiffy. <laughs> Great. Finally, if you've ever done something and it's irreversible, like cut all the hair off, don't worry about it because in the particle editing properties window over here, towards the top, there's a button that says free edit. Now when you click on that, it does say you're going to lose the changes done in particle mode and that will reset it back to how it was before you started playing about and styling the hair. Okay guys, it's challenge time. I'd like you to style the bunny's hair. So spend a few minutes trying out the different styling tools. Create a few styles. Now don't spend too long on the style at this time. For starters, it's a prototype. We're nowhere near the finished model at the moment. And also, we're likely to, in a few moments, have to reset it anyway. Now when you've done this, when you've done your styles, do share in the discussions. I'd love to see the hairstyles that you've come up with. Perhaps you've given the rabbit a side part in. Who knows? So please share that in the discussion. So pause the video now and go ahead and style the bunny's hair. Okay guys, welcome back. Let's hop straight back over into Blender. Okay, so let's go ahead and style our bunny. So the first thing I'm going to do is just come out of rendered mode for the moment and hop into solid mode. And I'm going to just clear that render border so there's less on the screen at once. I'll press the right key combination, there we go. So now that we've got this here, what I'm going to do is go over into particle edit. Now in general, if you look and make sure the comb selected, and in general, if you uh, look at an animal, most of the fur falls downwards with gravity. So it's worthwhile remembering that. And what we can do here is with limit selection to visibility turned off, um, I can view it from the side. It doesn't matter which side at this point. Well, with the background 
does. And um, well, that can help us, but I'll just turn the opacity on the background image, background image, here we go. I'll just turn that down a little so I can see more of my model. Oh, let's have a look at the proper thing first. So we've got a lot of hair going down here. Then it kind of comes down here, and all the hair on the head does go backwards as well, towards the ears and upwards, then a little bit downwards here. So we can use that. I'm just going to turn it on and off rather than looking at it. So we can pull our model down. Now, what deflect? Now, the deflect emit is quite high at the moment, so I'm going to lower that back down to around 0.5. Otherwise, I can't get the hair close to the body. And I'm just going to pull it down. Now, because I've got the limit selection to visibility turned off when we go around the other side it's combed it round in a symmetrical way now there is an x mirror here but it doesn't seem to work at this point in time so now we've got that there let's do this bottom bit as well now bear in mind the bottom is not going to be seen let's hop back round to the side view the left hand side and i'm going to have a look at the head now, of course we want this hair all brushed back and if you want to do some detail around the eyes you can do and then pull it down towards the neck just here so you can have a lot of fun playing with the comb and brushing in fact you can probably spend a couple of hours on a more detailed model just getting the hair looking roughly right now the ears for the moment I well I don't want the hair on the ears so I could actually cut it off but for humour's sake, I'm just going to brush everything up so it's got spiky ears. Now, of course, we need to remember the middle of the head, so it's got a bit of a mohawk going on at the back here. There we go, that's all combed back. We've got a few stragglers there, let's push those up and push those up as well. So we, we've pretty much combed all of the hair on the bunny now, it's apart from a few little stragglers, but that's absolutely fine. So let's go and have a look how it actually looks in rendered mode. Oh yes, uh, we've got a pink bunny. Well, that's obviously the skin colour at that point. We're still in particle edit, so let's come out there and have a look at this model here. And that just kind of gives us a little inkling of where the problem areas may end up being. Uh, there's a few tufts coming out in random places. So let's pull that back there. And there's a little bit around here. Let's brush that down. And let's just have another look in object mode. Yeah, that looks a bit better. I don't mind a few tufts coming out. And let's go and render that now. Okay, lovely. So that's got a, a quite nice shine to it by the looks of things. So we'll need to work on the materials later on for the hair. Because obviously um, that was a well-conditioned um, bunny by the looks of things. And there are a few things here. Uh, to sort out like round the eyes etc but we're going to do that in a slightly different way rather than just trimming the hair back etc but that's a that's a pretty good first attempt at just brushing the hair back and seeing how it looks remember to share your bunny in the discussions i'd love to see uh, the styles that you've put out and i will see you guys in the next lecture take care